Hi, Dr. Portuguese in Seattle. Today we're talking about brow lifting procedures. A brow lift is also known as a forehead lift. The first consideration we do when looking at a patient to do a brow lift is the level of the eyebrows. Patients must have low set eyebrows in order to be a candidate for the procedure. The second thing we look at is the position of the eyebrows relative to each other because everyone has some degree of asymmetry. One eyebrow is always lower than the other one. So therefore, the lower eyebrow, in this case it's hers on the left side, this one will get lifted up slightly more than the higher eyebrow. The second thing we look at is, is scowl for me, scowl. The second thing we look at is this, the muscles. This is the corrugator muscles right here and we soften those from, from the incision up here and then raise your eyebrows. And these muscles are also softened when necessary. This is called the frontalis muscles. The next parameter we look at is the level of the hairline. Is the hairline high or is it low? If there's a low hairline, we place the incision back behind the hairline and we raise the hairline up when we raise the eyebrows. If she were to have a high hairline and we want to lower the hairline, then we place the incision at the hairline and remove the, the, the bald skin here, not the hair bearing skin. And that brings the forehead and hair bearing skin down closer and shortens the forehead in addition to raising the eyebrows. The incision itself is a coronal approach, usually located across the top of the scalp this way. And for patients who have a, a high hairline, the incision is at the hairline right here. And this is an outpatient procedure. It's done under general anesthesia. Usually takes about an hour and a half. And then patients um, anticipate about two weeks of visible bruising and swelling after the procedure. If you're interested in a consultation, please see our website at seattlefacial.com.